Hello and welcome to the first rounds. Um, we will keep this. Now the main reason I keep this is because uh, with these kind of lands we actually have the possibility to play Necro. Like I know it seems weird to that be my end goal but I think turn 3 Necro seems strong uh, unless my opponent of course is some kind of aggro deck. Survival please. Sakura Tribuilder. That seems fine. Um, we can also vamp for. We can also vamp for Nicol Bolas, which seems just as strong. Uh, we obviously want to lead with the swamp, just in case we want to do the necro thing. Uh, Nicol Bolas says minus get king control of a creature. Uh, so he takes me for one, huh? Interesting. That's fine. Then sacrifice it, which seems a bit odd. Like, why would you want the land into play tapped right now? We do have to go for a throat for any kind of big creature. Um, and I think with Trend Dynamo, we can power out the vamp pretty early. Uh, uh Nicol Ball is pretty early. Like on turn 5, if I turn 3, vamp for it. We can vamp for it now and start necroing, but I don't think that's really that great against this guy. Uh, okay, I think we go for a throw that. I know it seems weird to go for a throw something right now, but we actually want to. Bloodstained Mire allows me to get Volcanic. Yeah, okay, that's fine. The reason I go for throw that is that it's just, you know, a three power guy that hits my face. Which is pretty annoying. Get a teak, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's definitely a card I should have kept go for the throat for. Uh so end of turn we get volcanic islands. We impulse uh, like this. Keep necro, but I don't think I will use it. Like the problem is that Galactic basically stops me. Him is an okay card. What can I vamp for? I have it on the paint here. I can vamp for murder cut. Uh, the guy has three cards in hand, by the way. I can vamp for murder cut. I can vamp for upheaval, but I just can't cast those cards. So I first need to get rid of. Cataclysm. So I think I have to vamp for murderous cut here. Vamp murderous cut. Uh, him kill Cataclysm. But then we have like no cards in hand. We can wait on that, I guess. So let's him and him. Basically say screw you and your stupid card. Man, if he didn't have Cataclysm. Figure of Destiny. What's the other card that I discarded? Blight Steel Colossus. Okay. It's good to know he has that, but I can't cast bribery, so. Yeah, the problem is if I vamp, which I obviously have to. Oh, I think I have to vamp for Necro now, right? But then we're so stuck. So he only has one card, he just plays some Petal Grove. Then swings at me with one. I oh know with both. So we fall down to 13, 11. I necro for five. We go down to two, and I'm just stuck on it. So I don't think that's a good way. I think we have to vamp for Murderous Cut here. Although vamping for Necro. Yeah, I'm gonna vamp for Necro and get greedy. Uh, it seems likely that I'll have a removal then. Pay one life. Pay one life. I uh, want to go down to... I think six.
So we basically draw five cards up to seven a land Rifting Clouds Gate a land Signet Urborg <laughs> Wow This is just terrible like I lose here I have no way to getting rid of my own necro um because you know the Clouds Gate has to be played on this creature Well, I guess I can. <sighs> wow, this is a tough one. Like I lose here all the time. So we signet. Play cards, cloud skates. Uh, I have to do it on take. Like, there's no other way. Or maybe on like. Fauna Shaman. Yeah, let's do them Fauna Shaman. He's not gonna attack with the dig into this, right? Then we'll draw a card. <laughs> this has to be a good one. <gasps> oh yeah. So he has to attack with Teague, then we block Citic Slime. Artifact Enchantment or Land. Sure. Kill Necro please. Man, oh, sucks, but happens. Um, so we just have to have him attack with Teak. We block, and then what? Like we won't be drawing a card. We have Trend Dynamo, sure, but uh, we can't cast Nickel Balls because we're a mana short. Okay, so Necro against this guy, pretty weak because you know he's creature based. Given that he's creature based, in comes this, in comes this, in comes this. Uh, so three creatures comes in. I think four spike also seems pretty fine against this guy on the play. Uh, out goes Necro. Um, hmm. Maybe like Consecrated Sphinx. Although maybe not. Like Brain Maggots probably isn't that great. Um, hmm. Maybe we don't want Trend Dynamo then? I think we still do. Let's cut this. Nah, let's cut a vamp. I don't think we need a vamp here. And... So aside the Consecrated Swings, we have no other draw. I think we want like 4 late game cards anyway. Well, we do have Bribery, which is basically another late game card. Uh, the guy does have channel by far. Like, there's no way this guy doesn't have channel, given that, you know, he plays that, uh, whatever you call it. What do I cut here? Totsies? I am on the play, so Totsies is really good. This seems fine. Like, maybe we got, like, a Signet. Okay. Yes. I will keep this. Uh, we have bribery. I think bribery on his big creature is really strong. And we ha do have normal. Normally we do have uh, hippie on turn three. Like unless my opponent has like another explosive opening with a mox, uh, we'll be fine. Or has channel right now. Uh, if he has channel, I'm pretty screwed as well. I have no way to stopping that. But we basically want to impulse into badlands, right? Because then we do have electrolyze and other things. So let's play impulse. Uh, yeah, I guess it'll be, it'll be a volcanic island. Um, I could have taken Shriekman there, but I think electrolyzing this. Wow. Um, I still think electrolyzing this is better. I mean, there has to be a reason he plays uh, Fana Shame in turn 2. Or he plays that card in general. Voice of Resurgence. That's an okay card. So let's play Plus in Mire, sacrifice it. 
get like in Badlands. Get Desecration Demon out there. Um, I think if he has a removal, he's gonna use it on Desecration Demon. He can start sacrificing things. Uh, he's also down on mana apparently, so maybe Hippie was better. But I mean, bribery on his big creature seems really strong. Plus, you know, you can't raise a Desecration Demon without having much. Yeah, okay. See if he sacrifices anything. Does not. Does he sacrifice anything now? He does, uh, which is pretty great for me, because bribery right now. Give me your Blightsteel Colossus, please. Of course he doesn't have it in his hand. Mirrorous Wake. Uh, I don't see a channel anywhere. So let's get Blightsteel Colossus out there. Sub bro. You want to deal with this? <laughs> okay, apparently not. Um, hmm. Again to the sideboard. I think four spike loses a bit of its value, but it's still strong enough. Um, smokestack doesn't seem to be that strong. I think our deck is fine as is. Okay, let's try it out. We're one one. The guy's an aggro deck and he's on the play here. Uh, I guess we'll key because we do have Murder Scott and Hippie, but it's pretty weak. Wow, man. Phew. That's twice he has that. I mean, he doesn't have a 2 draw, but that's twice this guy opens with a Mox. You do get a feel for me that that's a bit broken, right? Uh, now we get a Flooded Strand. Um, I think I do want to suspend Cloud Skate first. Uh, let's get an Underground C. I mean, opening twice with a Mox is just ridiculous. Especially if he only plays one of them. Like maybe he doesn't have much else, but even then... There's a land, don't be a tron. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is just... This, his deck is so fucking trash. Like, no offense, but going creatures here is trash. And then you open it with Mox into Troll into Tron. Like, there's no way I beat this with a deck like mine. Acidic slime on the land? No, figure. Figure is okay. Just doesn't do that much. It does present lethal next turn, by the way. Uh, him. I think we first ponder, see what we can find, if we can find anything at all. Yeah, we can get a go for a throat. Yay, me. Upheaval. So we build up to upheaval, huh? Um, we have two cards there, we can have two mana. Um, we can him him, block here, and then what? We can play Signet, block here. And then hope for an upheaval. But then, if he if he plays up here, we still lose, right? So I think we have to keep open the murder cut. Then next turn, go for that. We can also swing and murder cut. Swing and murder cut seems better. 
Um, so let's do that. Let's see what he discards. Chromox. Oh yeah, he does play Chromox. Forgot about that. Yep. Yep. And nope. And then he has two cards in hand. One is a land, apparently. Uh, this comes off suspend. Okay. So cast this. Bounce this. Then we draw useless land. So him him. Get rid of two lands. Play signet. Have to block here. So even if we draw an island, we have to first play the island to be able to play upheaval, so we'll still be down. So I don't see what we can draw here. Like shoulder it? Shoulder it, yeah. Unless the guy draws a creature, shoulder it is a way to draw. A creature he can cast through throw sick regeneration by the way. Is it Shriekman? Nope. Cannot target any of those. So let's concede here. Man, just ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, we go 0-1, and I'll see you guys for the second round.